Welcome, my name's Lee Haslett. Uh, we're here in uh, Ashmore uh, Pistol Club today to uh, just demonstrate a few of the weapons, weapon systems we use uh, on our uh, firearms course, uh, our safety firearm safety course and our security firearms course. So, uh, we're going to show you some of the equipment that we use uh, in the cash and transit industry. Um, some of the equipment that we've got here today is some of the firearms that uh, the most probable firearms that you would use, um, i.e. the semi-automatics and, uh, and the revolvers. Okay, so what we've got here today is we've got a 9mm Glock, uh, which is commonly used for uh, security work and used in the, uh, in the police service, although they use a 40 calibre but uh, exactly the same gun but just a different caliber caliber weapon. Um, 9mm, we, we're allowed to use a double stack magazine okay, which will take um, 17 or 18 rounds. Um, we can also use a single stack magazine which will only take 10 rounds. Um, with security, security firearms, we are allowed to actually use an 18 round mag. So that's uh, quite convenient. Uh, for um, for what we need to use in security, okay. Obviously, the bigger caliber of round that we use, uh, the less that we can actually put in the magazine. So we've had a nine millimeter, our, uh, our Glock 17. This is a 17A, as we can see by the extended barrel here. Um, with this actual gun here, although it's used in security, you can actually use this one at the range too. Uh, because it has got the slightly extended barrel. The Glock 17, if we do use it at a range, we can only use it with a 10 round magazine. Okay, We're not allowed to use the double stack magazines that we use in security. So this is a 10 round magazine. And then if I go over to the security magazines, the ones that we can use in security, they're actually a 17 round magazine. So if we want to put one in the actual spout itself, we can actually carry the gun with 18 rounds in there. So uh, only for security usage only. The Glock 27 that I've got here at the moment is a subcompact, very small, um, perfect gun for concealment. And as long with the security using this gun, the, uh, the police use this gun too. And they use it out of bum bags and, and concealed um, holsters. So uh, very good very good little gun for, uh, for concealment. The magazine that that one takes is a nine round magazine here. Okay? And it's being a 40 caliber too, it does obviously um, take less rounds than what a nine millimeter magazine would actually take. Because obviously the, um, the rounds are a lot bigger. So we're gonna get to use that a little bit later on from concealment. We also have a GP100, which is a Ruger. Okay, this is a six round double action revolver, commonly used with more um, covert, uh, sorry, more overt uh, security. So uh, companies like Chubb and Armour Guard and Brinks, you will actually see this revolver in their, in their holsters. And, uh, and pretty much you get to see these guys every day if you go around shopping centres or you're uh, anywhere around a bank. And we get to fire that one too. This is a 357 Magnum round that this one actually takes. So we'll use that one a little bit later on. Okay, as you can see at the range here, I keep my safety glasses on the whole time. Um, you can hear in the background here that we've got other people shooting at this range. So we've got 13 ranges actually here. So at any time a piece of uh, lead can come up and uh, hit you in the eye. Always a good idea to uh, keep the glasses on the whole time. Along with ear protection too, it's not too bad at the moment because the guys are firing are quite a distance away, but when we start to shoot here, um, ear protection is, a, is compulsory. Some of the holsters that we're going to use today, um, we're going to use a paddle holster here, which is a blade tech. This one you probably wouldn't use for security because although it has two retentions, and the first retention being is it is connected to your belt. The second retention is only a friction retention and probably not the safest way but I tend to use this when I'm practicing at the range 
uh, for IPSC shooting and I like to have a more of a service type of, of holster so when I am actually carrying a, a, a weapon uh, for work then I'm, I'm used to that type of holster. So we're going to use that one today. Two retention, two screws in the side here. They actually allow you to uh, make the retention a little bit stiffer if we need to so your gun doesn't fall out. We've got a drop leg holster here as well which is a Serpa holster and the Serpa holster works by pushing a button in the side here so this is only a two retention holster as well one it's connected to your to your fire and it's connected to your belt and the second retention is the fact to take the firearm out you would need to push this button at the same time to pull it out um, a lot of the guys in the security industry use the drop legs if they're in and out of vehicles a lot, they find it a little bit more comfortable for driving a car, getting in and out of a car, rather than having a uh, holster digging into your side all the time. We have a new holster here, made by Calco, and uh, this one's only just come out. And, uh, it's a full concealment holster. Fits just here, but obviously fits with the shirt over the top of your pants. and. Uh, the retention of this one is the fact that it's actually attached to your belt and it's quite stiff in here as well so it's a friction retention as well but these only just come out a couple of weeks ago and um, I've been wearing this one um, and it's, it's, it's perfect it's a really good comfortable uh, holster perfect for um, security work we've just got a mag one mag holder here uh, we just bought this one today just so that we could just uh, have a magazine uh, carrier to go to the actual target itself but this is a paddle type of setup as well and uh, I've trimmed this one up as, as well to the bottom here so that uh, it hasn't got the big paddle setup of the normal holster so it doesn't dig in when you when you lean forward. The ammunition we're going to use here we've got some 9mm these are 9mm reloads we use the reloads for practice uh, we don't use these um, these loads for security work. We have got to use factory rounds for security. So uh, the reloads are quite handy for coming down for a cheaper way of shooting without uh, costing you a fortune every time you come down. So we've got the nine nine mils there for the semi-automatic. Also, we got some three, five, seven rounds too. Again, these are reloads. Um, they use these for the revolver. And again, it works out a little bit cheaper by actually reloading our own. We don't reload our 40 calibers, so we've got some MagTech rounds here, which I use in the Glock 27. And uh, these are 42 rounds. These are the type of rounds you would use in the security industry. As you can see, they're a hollow point, semi-jacketed, and um, this is legal to use in the security industry. We can also use semi wad cutters as well or a glass of safety slug which was used uh, years ago by the air marshals that used to be um, private security guards that used to be air marshals on planes they don't use them so much now because the federal police took that role over and even now they're uh, getting rid of a lot of the federal police on, as air marshals so they're arming some of the American pilots at the moment so uh, we don't tend to see so many of the federal uh, police on air marshal work anymore. So what we're going to do now is put on a paddle holster and we're going to load up a 9mm. I'll show you how to load up a 9mm and then we'll show you some of the ways of doing it properly and we'll show you some of the maybe some of the common mistakes that some people make. So we're going to show you the proper way of how we teach um, at our training organisation of how we would load up a 9mm. So first of all I'm going to need to put on the paddle holster. Now the paddle holster as you can see here has got two clips here so once it goes over your belt it's now sprung loaded and then these two clips here stop the paddle holster from actually coming off. So they're a little bit tricky to put on in the first place. But once they're on, they're pretty solid. And then we've got the magazine holder. Same setup, 
So you can actually use, this is called an instructor's belt, a firearms instructor's belt, and you can use this as a, an everyday belt, and as soon as you want to kit up with your, uh, your equipment, you can do it in a matter of a couple of seconds like that. So that, uh, that, that's a handy belt. You don't have to have your other belt over the top with your belt keepers and, uh, and have a lot of stuff hanging off. And if I come back to work and I want to take my, my holster and my magazine, hold her out, I can take it off in a couple of seconds too. Okay, our range here is actually, down range is down here. We've set up one target, one single target. Um, got it at the back here by the bullet stop. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just load up a magazine or two, and then we're gonna go down there and do a couple of shots, getting the stance correct, the breathing correct, and the trigger action correct. So we take out our rounds it's always a good idea to have your rounds on the right hand side if you're right handed and obviously your magazine in the left hand side and have a nice fluid motion of actually putting the rounds in so we're not pulling the rounds away from uh, any other area of the table where we might drop them we drop them here then they're only going to go on the table if we want to put a certain amount of rounds in a magazine then what we would do if we're going to put 10 in, like we're going to put 10 in here, not too bad because we can count across the actual box itself. But if we wanted to put six rounds in, then the best way of doing it is to actually take six rounds out of the box. If we take six rounds out of the box, then we don't have to worry about counting how many rounds we actually put in the magazine. So I've taken six rounds out here, I've got a 10 round magazine, so I'm going to load this one up six rounds. Now, when we load these up, we use the smooth side of the magazine as the front of the magazine, and the square side of the magazine is the rear of the magazine. So, smooth side is the front, and the square side is the back. When we put the first round in, we put it down between the lips of the magazine. The second one comes down just on the projectile of the head, and we push down and we push them back in. So we'll just put six rounds in this magazine here. Okay, so we've got ten rounds in this magazine and we've got six rounds in, in this magazine. Okay. So now we're going to go forward and we're going to take a few shots at the target and uh, we're going to show you the stance and how we're going to load up these, these magazines. So we're going to pick the weapon up. We're going to leave it facing down range and we're going to slide the slide forward and then we're going to holster it so that we can go down to the area with the gun in a safe, uh, safe position on our, on our holster. So do, to pull the slide forward, we've got the slide, slide lock here. So what we need to do from here is just to pull it down. Okay. Now the actual slide is forward. We need to point the gun down range and then with a finger off the trigger, slowly place it into the holster. Okay. Best way of putting the gun into the holster is slow. There's never been a race to put the gun in fast. Okay. It's always been slow. That way if you do catch the trigger, a bit of clothing catches the trigger, you're not going to shoot a nice line down the side of your leg. Okay. Okay. Let's go down to the firing position. Okay, we're about seven metres now away from the actual uh, target itself. Um, we're going to fix a tripod camera up now.